All right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna start. This is the first video I'm ever making on this camera. Welcome to how I landed a software engineering internship at Citadel. Uh, just as a background, I'm not the crazy cracked like math and coding god that you might think I am. Um, of course, I perform well in my CS classes, but you know that's about it. Uh, I am a junior X major at Berkeley. So for those of you who don't know. That is electrical engineering and computer science. Honestly, I think it was the interviews that mattered a lot and, and less so my background. I have two previous software engineering internships. The first one was in summer 2021. I worked at a startup called Simplified Jobs. And then last summer, uh, so 2022, I was working at Uber. Um, and I'm actually working there right now as well, but I can get into that in another video. If you wanna learn more about what I did during those internships, uh, I'll put my resume up in the video or in the description. So uh, yeah, let's just get into the timeline. You don't need a big name school or a bunch of previous internships to get your foot in the door because Citadel actually sends you, or sends everyone an OA, which is what we call an online assessment, which is basically a virtual interview. It's not proctored, you just kind of code it out. And based on how well you do on that, that decides whether or not you move forward in the interview process. So here's the full timeline on the screen. The details and the exact dates are there, but um, just to summarize it, the whole timeline took like 14 weeks for total technical interviews and two behavioral interviews. Um, I actually had to do the final round twice because the first time around the hiring manager didn't want me or for that specific team. So. That's the timeline, take a look at it, pause the video. But honestly, I'm mainly making this video to give interview tips because I think that's where a lot of uh, the pitfalls come. I think interviews and your ability to interview well will make or break your ability to land internships that will um, help boost your career. So uh, yeah. So as you probably already know, Software engineering interviews are usually about an hour. They kind of start out with a quick introduction with your interviewer and then you jump right into the coding problem. And then after that, they give you know a few minutes for you to ask questions. So I actually thought my technical performance on at least like half of my technical interviews, I definitely needed a few tips or, or hints from the interviewers. So I definitely didn't like score perfectly um, on the coding portions for these interviews. I did not solve the problem instantly. Um, there were definitely a few cases where I wouldn't have solved it without like extra help from the interviewers. Probably the biggest tip that I can give for interviews is your ability to woo the interviewer is more important than your ability to solve the problem at hand. So let me explain. You need to convince the interviewer of three things. One is that you're a real person whose world is not just coding. You're not a coding monkey, right? You live a real life. You have things to do outside of school outside of coding. Two, you're a great teammate that isn't afraid to ask for help. If you ask interviewers for help, it's not a bad look for you. If, if anything, it helps you out because no one wants to work with someone that isn't going to ask for help when they need it, right? Um, and three, you actually care about getting to know your interviewer, or at least, you know, pretend that you care. One of the biggest things that you need to avoid coming off as is someone that knows the answer to everything or thinks that they know the answer to everything because you really don't. Of course, you need to show that you're knowledgeable about software engineering to some extent, but it's impossible to know the answers to every question that is thrown at you, leak code or not. So how do you do this, right? How do you show the three things that I was talking about earlier? We'll just go kind of chronologically throughout the interview. So from the very beginning, try to show or pretend that you actually want to get to know the person on the other side of the screen. So this starts from the beginning and lasts throughout the whole interview, right? When they ask you how you're doing, don't just say something like, Good, how about you? You wanna add a little bit of spice to it. You know, what did you eat for breakfast? Are you getting absolutely destroyed on your operating systems project? Is it final season? Are you hanging on or are you breezing through your exams? These are all things that I've said before in previous interviews, and I think they have a small but non-negligible impact on how the interviewer perceives you as a person. These small details make you seem like a real person and not just like a leak code solving robot or someone that only cares about getting the problem right. This is what is going to differentiate you from the others and compel the interviewer to give positive feedback about you, especially because they will see you more as a real person, as a student that has a life, you know? During the coding question, you want to think out loud. So communicate everything that's going through your mind. Are you thinking about using DFS or BFS, a Q or a min heap, iterative or recursive? What's the reasoning behind all of these, right? 
This pertains only to the technical portion, but you need to show that you are a great teammate. So you want to be someone that doesn't like to just handle things solo. You're not afraid to ask for help. It looks especially bad if you're staring at the problem, you're not saying anything and you don't know what to do next and you don't have the confidence to ask the interviewer for help. Kind of confirm throughout the interview like, oh, I'm thinking about using BFS to solve this problem. Does that sound, does that make sense to you? Ask that to the interviewer and that will definitely boost your um, interview performance, especially when the interviewer reviews how you did on the uh, technical portion of the interview. After the coding question, you get to ask a few questions about their work life, um, about what they do. Um, really get to know your interviewer here. So show that you care about them Ask them to talk more about what they do at their company. What does their you know day-to-day -day look like? What is one of their favorite parts of the company? Maybe what's something that isn't related to their work that they enjoy about the company? And as your interviewer answers these questions, try to you know empathize with them. Try to relate some of it to a part of your own life and really just show that you're making a connection with this person, even if you in reality have like no interest in connecting with them because they're much more likely to give positive feedback about you if you make a genuine connection with them. Um, and at the end, you know, thank the interviewer for their time. From my personal experience, like talking to full-time employees at my internships, like they absolutely hate doing these interviews. A lot of them are only there because they have to be and it's up to you to make it enjoyable for them. If you can manage to make the interview enjoyable, they'll feel appreciated for the time that they spent on you. And of course, they'll write you some positive feedback. Um, that's what gets you through these interviews and onto the next round. All this advice that I just gave honestly applies to behavioral interviews as well, not just technical interviews. It maybe even matters more, right? Because behavioral interviews are where everything is based on who you are as a person and like the past experiences that you've had. I keep saying that you need to show that you're a real person, but the reason why I keep saying that is because I can't emphasize that enough. That's what's going to get you through these interviews. You know, a lot of these tips come kind of naturally if you're just already a people person. I consider myself to actually be mostly an introvert. Since freshman year though, I've put kind of a lot of effort into meeting new people, learning how to make conversations with just about anyone, even people that you have absolutely nothing in common with. This is something that you can and you should work on daily. It's not going to help you out in just interviews. It'll help you out in all parts of life. I'm also doing an internship at Uber right now. Um, I'm planning on making a day in the life video for that. And then of course I'm working at Citadel um, later this summer in New York. So yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. If there is demand for another type of video on my you know, experience at Berkeley, how to network, resume tips, I'd be down to make a video for those too. So yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Damn. <laughs>